everyone and welcome back to KB Decor Crafts. For today's video, I wanted to share with you how I decorated this wreath that I found at Michael's. By looking at the end result, you wouldn't believe that I paid less than $12 for this whole wreath. Alright, now let's get started. So for the wreath, I found at Michael's as a door buster for only $3. It was originally $8, but I also had a 20% off coupon on top of that sale. What I loved the most about this wreath was how full and fluffy it was, and I knew it would be perfect for an easy DIY. This garland I also found at Michael's. It was originally $16, but was also on sale, and I had a coupon on top of this one as well, so it, all in all, it came out to $6.40. I love this garland so much. It had different um, light options and the wooden stars were my favorite. I was going to add pine cones to this wreath anyway, so the fact that this all came in one strand was perfect. Now this was pretty easy to do. I just wrapped the garland around the wreath, um, trying to get it as even as possible on both sides and making sure that the battery pack would be behind the wreath in a position that it wouldn't fall down. Now since this is a garland, it did have two hoops on the end to originally hang somewhere but um, this made it easy to make sure that this garland wasn't going to go anywhere. All I did was make sure to wrap it around a branch and fold it over to one side so that way the strand wasn't going anywhere. Now here I just wanted to fluff up the wreath a little bit more so I just extended the branches every which way making sure that it was nice and full. Another great option for this wreath would have been to flock it before adding the garland just adding that faux snow look. I was so excited to find this beautiful bow at the 99 cent store out of all places and it was only $1.99. Now I'm pretty new at bow making so the fact that I found this already made was perfect for me. Uh, you could have put it at the very top of the wreath but I wanted to position it on the bottom because I had something else in mind for the middle of my wreath. This bow already had a wire on it that I could use to just wrap around some of the branches to keep in place. I had to reposition it a couple of times to get it exactly where I wanted it, but at the end it looked perfect. This bow was actually made out of wire ribbon, so I was able to crinkle up the ends just to make it look a little bit prettier. I was already in love with the way this was coming out. I did have something else I wanted to add in the middle, but you could easily just leave it as it is and it would look great. Now 
and I had gotten this Mary and Bright wooden sign at the Dollar Tree. I just painted it red off camera because I was going to use it in a different craft, but I decided it would be perfect for this wreath. Now, since my wreath is just staying indoors for now, I didn't feel the need to glue it on or adhere it any other way, so I just positioned it behind a few branches and it stayed in place for me. And there you have it. Now you have this beautiful wreath that could easily pass for $30 in any other store. Given that I only spent less than $12, it looks great. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more easy DIYs. Until next time.